Hi, Hiram again. I thought while I had this stuff out, I'd do a boil test on this coddle stove version too. With the, it has the smaller holes, uh, the 532nd holes. The body's a little shorter than the original one. I don't have this long uh, top on it. So the top is a little bit wider than what this one was to hopefully hold the pot more steady. I've already put 10 milliliters of alcohol in here, denatured alcohol. I'm going to put 10 more. This, the way this is set up now, this should hold about an ounce of denatured alcohol at one time. I have two cups of water in here. The temperature of the water is 65 degrees. And let's light this up and get it going. Let it warm up a little bit. Before I stick the pots on, the pot on. Speaking of the pot, just out of curiosity, it turns out this pot is a left-handed pot. There are marks on the inside of the pot to show one cup, two cups, and in order to see it, I have to hold it in my left hand. Well, I don't have anything against left-handed people. I married one, but it's just funny because most things are right-handed. Okay, let's see if get the flames up there. Again, there are jets on the inside of the stove where it's sucking the air in. You can see little jets. I can't put the camera on it now because I have it on a camera stand. I think you saw in an earlier vid. Okay, I guess that's up, going up high enough. Let's put the pot on. Get the flames out. They should build up as it gets warmer. Once the flames really get going, I'll turn on the timer. Hmm. I don't know if these smaller holes are giving me problems. Could be the temperature of the water is cooling it down, cooling the stove down, so that the alcohol is not vaporizing. I have two cups of water in here this time. And like I said, the water is at 67 degrees. I don't know why this isn't going. Don't you just hate it when this happens? Looks like I have flames in there. Maybe it's a little colder in the garage here today, but it looks like the temperature's going up, so I'm going to start the timer. <coughs> While we're waiting for this go, I've had some questions about this thermometer timer, what the numbers mean. I thought I explained it before, but my bad. The numbers on the top that you see counting up is the timer that I start with the on-off switch. The number you see on this side, right now it says 70, that's the temperature of the thermometer. The numbers on the other side, the 212 is where I want to get to, 212 degrees, which at this altitude should be the temperature of boiling water. So once this number gets to that number, then this, uh, this thermometer starts chiming to let me know, so I don't have to watch it. And that's what I usually do, I'll just put the camera on it and let it burn. And that way I can see, you know, where it started to boil, where the flames went out at what time. Hmm. 
Interesting. It's not taking off like the other one did with the larger holes. Now it's starting to build up. I should take a temperature reading of the body of the burner. I don't know, can you see my little red dot there on the body? It's saying that the temperature of the stove is 206 degrees right there. The outside temperature of the pot, where you see my little red dot, is saying that it's 249. So now the flames are starting to go. So I'm gonna have to look into that and see what's taking why this one's taking so long to build up. Could be because I cut this neck out that the cold pot is closer to the alcohol and preventing it from vaporizing until the pot gets built up to a temperature. It's at what, 132 now. So it's not cold anymore and it lets the alcohol vaporize. Could be any number of things. I look forward to your comments, your suggestions. My original idea for this stove was not a stove that you set the pot on like this, but rather a stove where I could put it in my volcano stove and the flames coming up could heat up a pot that was suspended above the top of it. World Stoves suggested that I try this, and it, it does seem to be working. Hopefully I'm not melting my handle off here. Looks like I could use a larger pot to put on this. Okay, with that slow start, it's now up to 195 in four minutes, almost five minutes. But most of that time was wasted waiting for the, the stove itself to heat up. And of course, this is two cups, not one cup of water. And there we have a boil. And there goes the alarm. Got a very rolling boil here. You hear the alarm? See how the numbers are flashing? It's, the thermometer is letting me know that it's reached the target temperature and at what time. And don't make the mistake I made. Somebody commented about I shouldn't run my hands through the uh, fire the flames because you can get burnt. That part's not too, I don't have a problem with that, but don't do it like I do it. But when I did my handy stove, the steam coming out of the top of this coffee pot caught me. That's very hot. So be very careful with something like that. Okay, so there we go. Let me stop this. I thank you for your watching of my video. I look forward to your comments and input and watch for Max the Dog.